Kyrie Jackson played college football for the Fort Scott Greyhounds, the Alabama Crimson Tide, and the Oregon Ducks. He was selected by the Minnesota Vikings in the fourth round of the 2024 NFL Draft, and his life was about to end. Kyrie Jackson, death by drunk driver. Jackson, along with two of his former high school teammates, died in a car crash in Upper Marlboro, Maryland, in the early morning hours of July 6, 2024, when another driver, who was drunk at the wheel, attempted to change lanes at a high speed and struck two vehicles, including the one in which Jackson was a passenger. He was 24. Dwayne Haskins, a talented American football quarterback, he was chosen by the Washington Redskins football team as the 15th overall pick in the first round of the 2019 NFL Draft. He later joined the Pittsburgh Steelers in 2021, unaware that his life would tragically end soon after. Dwayne Haskins, death by dump truck. On April 9, 2022, while in Florida for training camp, Haskins ran out of gas on his way to practice. In an attempt to reach a gas station across the busy freeway, he was struck by a dump truck and then run over by an SUV. Dwayne Haskins tragically died at the age of 24. Jeff Gladney was drafted by the Minnesota Vikings in the first round of the 2020 NFL Draft and played as a cornerback in the NFL. Unfortunately, his career and life were about to be cut short. On March 16, 2022, Gladney was on top of the world. He had made a move and signed a big contract with the Arizona Cardinals. Then on May 30th, 2022, Gladney, who was speeding on the freeway with his girlfriend, Mercedes Palacios, both died when Gladney's Mercedes SUV clipped a car and spun off the road, crashed into a brick wall, and ignited into flames. Gladney was 25 years old. Palacios was 26. Trey Walker was an American professional football player who played as a cornerback for the Baltimore Ravens in the NFL. Born on August 5, 1992 in Miami, Florida, Walker was drafted by the Ravens in the fourth round of the 2015 NFL Draft and would die soon after. Trey Walker, death by joyride. On the evening of March 17, 2016, 23-year-old Walker went for an innocent joyride on a dirt bike down the street. Not wearing a helmet, he collided with another vehicle. He died the next day in the hospital from his injuries. Edwin Jackson was an American football linebacker who played in the NFL. Born on December 19, 1991 in Atlanta, Georgia, he played college football at Georgia Southern University, then signed with the Arizona Cardinals and later played for the Indianapolis Colts. But the good times were about to end. Edwin Jackson, death by drunk driver. On February 4, 2018, Jackson was a passenger in an Uber when Jackson suddenly felt ill and asked if they could pull over. The two men exited the vehicle when suddenly they were both struck by a drunk driver in a Ford F-150 pickup truck. Both Jackson and the Uber driver died at the scene. Chris Henry was an American professional football player who played as a wide receiver for the Cincinnati Bengals in the NFL. He showed great potential on the field, recording 119 receptions, 1,826 receiving yards and 21 touchdowns over five seasons, but it was all about to end. Chris Henry, death by argument. Chris Henry tragically died in a car accident in 2009. He fell from the back of a moving truck during a domestic dispute. His fiance was driving the truck at the time of the accident. He was 26 years old. Brandon Burlesworth was an inspiring figure in American football. Starting as a walk-on for the Arkansas Razorbacks, he would end up being drafted by the Indianapolis Colts four years later. His life and tragic death inspired a terrific movie called Greater, the Brandon Burlesworth story. Brandon Burlesworth, death by bad luck. Brandon Burlesworth's story is indeed a tragic one. 
Just 11 days after being drafted by the Indianapolis Colts, he died in a car accident on April 28, 1999. Burlesworth was driving from Fayetteville to his hometown of Harrison, Arkansas, when his car collided with a tractor trailer. Jerry Brown was an American professional football linebacker who played in the NFL. He had a stint with the Indianapolis Colts and was with the Dallas Cowboys at the time of his untimely death at the age of 25. Jerry Brown, death by teammate. In the early morning of December 8, 2012, Brown was a passenger in a car driven by his Cowboys teammate, Josh Brent. About 2.21 a.m., Brent drove the car at high speed into an outside curb on Texas State Highway 114 outside Dallas, causing the vehicle to flip at least once and then come to rest in the middle of a service road and catch fire. Brent survived, Jerry Brown did not. Fred Washington was a professional American football player who played as a defensive tackle for the Chicago Bears in the NFL. Born on July 11, 1967, in Denison, Texas, he had his promising career cut short during his rookie season. Fred Washington, Death by Tree. On December 21, 1990, Washington was driving northbound on Illinois 43 in the Chicago suburb where the Bears have their training camp. When he suddenly lost control of the vehicle, the car bounced off the right curb, crossed the road and struck a tree. He was gone at the age of 23. Stacy Torin was an American football player who played as a defensive back for the Los Angeles Raiders. Born on October 11, 1961, in Indianapolis, Indiana. Little did he know that in 1989, he would have his life and career cut short. Stacy Torin, death by lack of seatbelt. Torin's life was cut short when he was involved in a car crash that shocked fans and fellow players alike. On August 5, 1989, Torin lost control of his BMW, which skidded, flipped multiple times, and crashed into a tree in Marina del Rey. He was not wearing a seatbelt and was ejected from the vehicle. He was 27. Andy Spiva, an NFL player who was a linebacker for the Atlanta Falcons. Spiva was known for his tenacity and grit on the field. Tragically, his career would be abruptly ended. Andy Spiva, death by weather. On April 3, 1979, Spiva was driving in rainy conditions when his sports car slid off of a street in the Atlanta area and collided with a tree. Spiva died at Northside Hospital that day after sustaining head and chest injuries. His passenger and teammate Garth Tennapel was also seriously injured in the crash, ending his NFL career. David Overstreet was a talented running back who played in both the Canadian Football League and the NFL, and was playing for the Miami Dolphins at the time of his horrific accident. David Overstreet death by sleep. David Overstreet died in a car crash on June 24, 1984, at the age of 25. Overstreet fell asleep at the wheel while driving from Michigan to Texas, causing his car to swerve off the road and crash into gasoline pumps, which then exploded. His teammates from the Dolphins wore a helmet decal with the number 20 in his memory during their 1984 season. Ralph Norwood was an American football offensive tackle whose NFL dream had just come true. In 1989, at just 23, he was drafted and signed by the Atlanta Falcons. However, 11 games into the season, his life and career would be cut short. Ralph Norwood, death by tree. Norwood died in a one-car accident on November 24, 1989. He was alone in his car when he crossed over a lane of oncoming traffic, traveled down an embankment and struck a tree. Many believe he fell asleep at the wheel. Eric Andalsek was an American football offensive lineman who played for the Detroit Lions in the NFL. After being drafted by the Lions in the fifth round of the 1988 NFL draft, 
and Dalsek quickly became a key player for the Lions, starting as an offensive guard and helping to block for the legendary running back Barry Sanders. But everything was about to end. Eric and Dalsek, Death by Semi-Trailer Eric and Dalsek had his life cut short on June 23, 1992 in what can only be described as a freak accident. He was run down by a semi-trailer truck while working in his yard in Thibodeau, Louisiana. The driver of the truck had taken his eyes off the road, missed a turn, and drove over Andolsek as he was cutting the grass. He was 25 years old. Brad Beckman was an NFL tight end who played for the New York Giants and the Atlanta Falcons and would tragically have his life cut short, just shy of his 25th birthday. Brad Beckman, death by I-85. Beckman died in a car crash on December 18, 1989. He was a passenger in a car that bumped into another vehicle on I-85 near Lilburn, Georgia. The roads were icy and the car was then hit broadside by a truck. It was the second fatal car accident involving a Falcons player in less than a month. Just weeks earlier, rookie tackle Ralph Norwood also died in a traffic accident. Rusty Chambers was an NFL linebacker who played for the New Orleans Saints and the Miami Dolphins. Chambers led the Dolphins in tackles for two consecutive years, until his life was tragically cut short. Rusty Chambers, death by weather. Shortly before midnight on July 1, 1981, Chambers perished in a car crash in Hammond, Louisiana, just five miles from his residence. He was traveling with friends when their vehicle slid off a damp road and overturned, resulting in Chambers' immediate death. To pay tribute to their lost teammate, the Dolphins adorned the back of each player's helmet with a patch bearing his number 51 throughout the 1981 season. Bruce McLenna was an American football player. He played professional football for the Detroit Lions in 1966 and was later signed by the Kansas City Chiefs. Little did he know, his life would soon end. Bruce McLenna, death by military. McLenna died in a car crash on June 18, 1968 at the age of 26. McLenna was traveling in a military vehicle as part of his service in the Missouri National Guard when the accident occurred. David Griggs, an American professional football player, served as an outside linebacker in the NFL for six seasons. His career included 10 years with the New Orleans Saints, Miami Dolphins, and San Diego Chargers. Tragically, his life ended at the age of 28. David Griggs, death by speed. David Griggs' demise was a result of speeding. He passed away in Fort Lauderdale, Florida on June 19th, 1995, after his car, traveling at high speed, veered off a ramp on Florida's turnpike and struck a sign pole. Okay, just wanted to take a moment to say a huge thanks for watching our videos. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you never miss an update. And don't forget to check out our channel memberships for some awesome perks. Until next time.